All right, people, Catfish Dave here. This is a uh, striper attempt number three. Uh, I have made three successful attempts at catching stripers on artificial lures. The best stripers I've landed so far were on this right here. I think this is a ounce and a half bucktail, just some old cheap looking bucktail from the Big Fish Outfitters. Daiwa Tatula 300. This is a Dobbins Bull Shad rod. I've got 50 pound Power Pro braid on this. One thing I've always wanted to do was to catch a striper on top water. For this third attempt, I stopped by the Big Fish Outfitters. I got this Dobbins Colt series. I got a Daiwa BG3500, probably could have got by with a 3000, it might have been a little better suited for the rod, uh, but this definitely had plenty of 30 pound suffix 832 braid on it. What you see here is called a chug bug. For this third attempt, I wanted a topwater striper. I had learned previously from the other two outings that the topwater bite was happening uh, right before dark. So I didn't even get down there until about an hour before dark. As I'm coming up the river, I realize there's all of a sudden an alarming number of boats striper fishing. Some local YouTuber put a video out there catching stripers and now it was elbow to elbow with not only striper fishermen but cat fishermen that watched this guy's videos that thought they would catch a striper. There's a certain area where the current seam is down below these gates. Depending on the amount of water running, this is where your top water activity is going to be. Uh, this is where your surface bait is going to be. And I could not get that spot. So I went all the way up to the wing wall. After that first fish, uh, I wasn't getting nothing but some little bumps, occasional little bites. I'd spent a lot of money in fuel. I live 60 miles away from this place to go down here and get a decent fish on video. I kept watching them boats down there in the spot I wanted to sit, and I waited patiently.
finally, about 15 minutes before dark, I guess those boats weren't doing no good. So half of them cleared out and left, and the rest moved another 100 yards or so down the river, opening up my spot. That's when I seized my opportunity. With limited time left, I was confident that I could get a good striper on that bucktail, because that's what's got my best three fish so far. I knew how to use that lure, and I was pretty confident that I could get a video if I threw that lure. I was hard-headed, and I wanted a topwater striper. I bought that rod and that lure specifically for this trip. With only 15 minutes left to video, I took the risk and I threw that chug bug. Okay, there's my first top water striper right there. Thought I was going to get my line cut. First top water strike. There it is, y'all.
that's addictive right there. One of my uh, goals was to get one on top order. And I got one, man. After that first day striper fishing, feeling those fish pull out tons of line off that light tackle, it was pretty addicting. I made another trip down there and got a couple smaller fish and wasn't quite satisfied with that. I patiently waited the next time to go and right before I left the house, big storms moved into the area and I had to wait another day. Finally the weather cleared and I had another shot. Despite all the people in my way and with limited time in the day, I got my first top water striper. It's pretty addicting people and it's getting me through the summer spawn when the big catfish are tough to catch. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, the striper series I'm doing. This is a video, there was fish in the video, that makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.